and a new film about Harriet Tubman is giving audiences a fresh look at her life before and during the Civil War. And some of Harriet's relatives still live right here in Buffalo. Two On Your Side's Karis Belger spoke with one of them today about the movie and their ancestors' legacy. Kent Olden's ties to Buffalo run deep, and he's always been well-versed in his family's history. When February came around in school and we had to learn all the black history facts, I was the little kid in class correcting the teachers. The story of his family's journey from slavery in Maryland up north is one Kent heard over and over as a child. One relative in particular always stood out. Robert Ross, Harriet Tubman's brother, was my great-great-great-grandfather. Eventually, her brother Robert settled in Buffalo um, and changed his name to John Henry Stewart so that he could not be found. From Robert settling in Buffalo, he had a daughter named Gertrude. Gertrude had a son named Harold. Harold had a daughter named Arlene. Arlene had a son named Kent, and Kent is my father. Since Robert Ross settled in Buffalo, Kent's family has worked to make sure the community knew about Harriet and her siblings' contributions. His grandmother Arlene helped put the historical markers around the city where they are today. She was a huge proponent of being able to tell your own stories. It's a mentality Kent's family has taken to heart. His cousin helped provide context for the new film, Harriet. It's giving audiences a fresh look at Tubman's life and more insight to her family's journey to Western New York. A recent screening was Kent's first opportunity to see Robert and Harriet's story the way he'd always known it. It's something that I've always known, but to see it actually play out kind of made my heart smile. And Kent says as audiences prepare to see the film, he hopes they'll gain better insight into the ancestor he's always known. She was a person. She was a human being. She was a woman. She was a fighter. She's more than just the mean looking woman sitting in the chair ready to go. So I'm actually very excited that everyone, when they finally see the movie, they can see all the different facets of her life and her personality. It's a fascinating conversation, Karis, thank you. And Kent is continuing his family's work and helping preserve the legacy of his great Aunt Harriet and all of her family members. And he helped advise reenactments of Harriet's crossing from Buffalo into Canada.